In today's video, we'll be doing something a little bit more fun. I'll be seeing how many words I can generate for a specific blog post topic in less than 10 minutes. Jasper AI is one of the most powerful AI copywriters in the market, generating some of the best quality for short and long form content. While Wordplay AI is a fairly new AI copywriter that allows you to generate full length blog posts in just a couple of clicks. So we'll be using these two AI copywriters to write a blog post about the best credit cards for businesses in 2022. I'll be using Jasper to get an outline and then generate a full length blog post using Wordplay and then going back into Jasper and buffing up the content using the long form assistant. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to try generating an outline first from Jasper and then going over and uploading that onto Wordplay. So let's go ahead and try to generate an outline first. Okay, so I think this would be a pretty decent outline here. Let's go over now and head over to Wordplay. We're going to use the outline mode, paste in our separate article sections, and then we're going to enter the article title. Now let's go ahead and proceed and confirm the job. While we wait, let's go ahead and get started with Jasper AI. We're going to use the long form assistant. Let's start from scratch because again, we're already going to have a pre-made blog post, which is creating right now in Wordplay. And we're going to add more content onto it once it's finished generating. Okay, so we see it's finished generating here. Okay, let's go ahead and copy this over. We have about 987 words here for this blog post that was generated by Wordplay. So not bad by any means. Let's go ahead and quickly read through the outline. So the best credit cards for businesses in 2022. What are the best credit cards for small businesses? How do I choose the best credit card? What are the benefits of using a credit card? How do I know if I'm eligible for a small business credit card? What is the process of applying for a small business credit card? How do I use my small business credit card responsibly? Okay, so these are all really, really good subtopics that we can use for this specific blog post. Let me just quickly go ahead and skim through the intro paragraph here. In this article, we take a look at the best credit cards for businesses in 2022 and beyond so that you can keep your company financially stable while operating your business responsibly. This is already shaping up to be a really, really good blog post. But what I like to add is I like to add a list of the best credit cards for small businesses. So I'll actually go ahead and list a couple of um, actual credit cards that a small business can use. And in order to get a nice list, let's go ahead and use the blog post outline. We're going to go ahead and paste um, that blog post title or topic and generate content. Okay, boom, here we go. So we actually got a nice list here of six different credit cards. I'm going to go ahead and copy that, paste it in here. Okay, now let's go back over to the focus mode. We're going to make this an H2, this an H2. So when you're generating content for your body paragraph, you can actually go ahead and use the left-hand side here, which would be the title, the content description, then go ahead and click compose, or you can head back over to the power mode. And I believe there is a paragraph generator. So let's go ahead and try both methods and see whichever one gives us the best content. So we'll be talking about the American Express Blue Business Plus. Okay, so what is the American Express Blue Business Plus and how you can apply for it as a business? We don't need to include any keywords. Let's go ahead and generate AI output. Okay, so this is a really nice paragraph that we get here about this American Express credit card. So we wanna go ahead and enter that in there. Of course, you'd wanna go ahead and read through all of this information, but because we're sort of on a time cruncher, I'm just going to go ahead and paste that information in here and we'll take a look at it at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing the same method by entering the specific credit card and getting some content for that specific card. Okay, so as you can see, we're getting a lot of content here and I'm skimming through them. Obviously, I'm not able to read all of the content, but it seems like it's very relevant and very useful content here. And because the AI didn't finish its sentence, let's go ahead and just click the compose button here and see if Jasper can go ahead and finish that sentence. So as we can see, when we went ahead and hit uh, compose, we also see it starts to write about another credit card here. So let's go ahead and let it uh, continue that thought. Okay, so capital one, did we already talk about that one? Yes, we did. 
But let's go ahead and just hit compose again and see what it's going to talk about. Yeah, so it's the same card that we already talked about earlier in the video. So let's go ahead and just remove that. Okay, the business platinum, let's go ahead and paste that in here. Okay, let's go ahead and paste that here. Let's hit compose and see if Jasper can give us some more content for that specific card. Okay, so we get a new card here, the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Let's go ahead and make that an H2. Let's go ahead and click compose and let Jasper finish its thought. Now we have another card here, which is the Delta Sky Miles. So that's why Jasper is so powerful because as you can see, when you're getting content, you can be getting content for a specific paragraph, but as you can see, it goes ahead and continues to write about another relevant paragraph that you can include within your blog post. And that's why Jasper really is the best AI copywriter in the market. There's really no other AI copywriter that will generate this amount of information in such a short time, but also making sure that the content is relevant and high quality. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste this in here. And again, let's go ahead and click compose and see if Jasper can give us some more content. As you can see, Jasper went ahead and started talking about the platinum card from American Express. So let's go ahead and let it continue uh, finishing that thought. The city prestige card. So again, just continue clicking compose, um, just making sure that the content is obviously relevant to the blog post in which you're creating. But as you can see, again, it's very easy to write a long blog post using Jasper because it just does all of the heavy lifting for you. Okay, let's go back to the focus mode. So we can see here that we have 2,620 words. And as you can see, we were able to write that in a very short period of time. And we actually have a very, very well written and a very relevant um, blog post for this specific topic in which we're writing about. In order to get some more content for our body paragraphs, we can go ahead and enter the title in which we're writing about and also go ahead and paste it into the content description brief. Go ahead and leave your cursor at the last sentence of that um, paragraph and let Jasper go ahead and expand that content. Okay, go ahead and click expand. So again, it keeps on talking about how to choose the best credit card for a small business because again, that is the paragraph in which we're writing about. So it's talking about cashbacks, it's talking about perks, and other things that you need to keep in mind when choosing a credit card as a small business. Okay, so if you see Jasper starting to repeat itself, then you know that you've sort of exhausted that content. But as you can see, we were able to expand this from just one paragraph to three or four paragraphs of very in-depth content. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing for all of these um, different um, sections here and try to hit that 5,000 word mark. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going ahead back into those body paragraphs. I'm copying the title, paste it in into the left hand side here, and I'm trying to just go ahead and expand the content in which Jasper has already created. In order to get some more content, I went ahead and copied um, some paragraphs that were very popular in other blog posts and just went ahead and used it in Jarvis so that we can sort of hit at least that 4000 word mark. In about 10 minutes, I was able to generate a 4,000 word blog post. And not only was this just a surface level blog post, this is a very in-depth blog post, which covers everything that you need to know about choosing a credit card as a business in 2022. And it also went over some of the most popular credit cards that a business can choose. 
Um, it went over why you should choose a business credit card, what are the benefits of a business credit card, how to get credit, how to apply. And we also talked about what are the best business credit cards for a business located in Canada. So there's a lot of really, really good and actionable information included in this blog post. And honestly, I'm very happy by the quality of the blog post, but also impressed by how quickly we were able to generate this blog post using wordplay and Jasper AI. Also go ahead and leave a link for this blog post in which we created below this video. You can go ahead and read through the content for yourself. And also let me know in the comments below how many words you can generate for a blog post in 10 minutes using an AI copywriter. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.